Hi everyone, it's Tammy. Welcome to Creative Girl Vintage. And today we are going to be ringing in the new year with an ornament that I have designed for you. Um, he is uh, just perfect to hang on your Christmas tree and really you can hang him anywhere to welcome in all your bright new beginnings for the new year. Also, this makes a great little hostess gift for a New Year's Eve party. So stick around with me and I'm going to share with you how I put this little ornament together. As always, the crafting supplies I will be using today, I will link in the description box below this video. Okay, we started out with um, star foam balls. These are the smooth star foam balls. I found these at Michael's. They are the 1.8 inch. And I took my little star foam ball here, put it on a toothpick, and I painted it with the folk art parchment color paper. I like this look. It makes it look a little bit more like spun cotton, but it's a little bit easier to work with being star foam. So um, pop it on the toothpick, two coats of paint. I put it in my little sanding block here and just let it dry okay so the next thing I want to do is I just want to kind of look at this straight on and um, decide where my center is going to be and we're going to put the nose in first so you can use a lot of different things for a nose but for today here's what I'm going to use these are little brads that um, I just, I found in my drawer and I thought, well, why not? These are kind of cute. And this was sort of a, kind of a coppery color. So it was, you know, kind of festive. And I thought, let's just use this for today's nose. And I'm gonna find my center here and I'm gonna take this little paper brad and I'm gonna push it right in for my nose, okay? Good start. Next, I'm gonna take a little bit of makeup, some blush. And I've got a Q-tip here, and I'm just going to blush up these cheeks. Kind of establish where our cheeks are going to be, too. All right. Then grabbing a pencil. I'm going to pencil in a little bit of a face here. And now you guys who did um, my project number one in Making a Vintage Christmas, we did the Vintage Snowmen. And basically, this was the technique that we did for their faces. So if you did that one, you know what this is all about. Okay, so pencil in face. I like to do that first. And then I'm going to commit with my ultra fine point Sharpie here. And um, you don't want to press too hard with this. So let me, oh, wait a minute. i got to get some glasses, you guys. Hold on a sec. Got the glasses. Zoom in a little bit here. And... Like I said, you don't want to press too hard. Just go over your little pencil lines and pencil in, or I should say, sharpie in your little face. Okay. I have to always kind of balance my hand a little bit while I'm doing this. we go. I can add a little smile line on here. All right, that's so cute. Okay, and then next, I pulled out my stash of confetti because, you know, everyone's got a stash of confetti laying around, and uh, I had, but I had these gold stars, and I love these gold stars, so I'm going to pull a couple of those out of my confetti jar here, and I figured they would just be darling on his cheeks. I'm going to use my hot glue. I'm going to be very gentle with this and just do a teeny tiny little drop of hot glue there and lightly, come here, little star, lay that very gently on there. I don't want to smush glue out the sides. I don't want a bunch of glue strings, which I got a little one here, which I'm going to try to get rid of. There we go. Let's do it again on this side here. Tiny little drop. Kind of get rid of any little glue strings. Get that little piece of star confetti right there and lay it right on. 
Look at that cute little face. That is adorable. Okay, now get out your, your little serrated steak knife here, and we're just going to slice down his head a little bit. I'm going to make his head a little bit flatter, and it'll just make the hat work so much better. So real gently, I'm just going to take a couple little slices off here, just a little bit at a time. Try to stay as straight as possible, but I'll be honest with you, if you get a little bit of a curve or a little angle, I should say, don't worry about it because the hat, if it sets a little bit to the side, that happens, it's really even cuter than sitting on there straight. Okay, so a couple more things and our head's going to be ready. Let's grab some wire here. Get this stuff out of the way. This is just a 20 gauge wire. And what I'm going to do is, you know, we've got a hanger at the top and then we've got things dangling here at the bottom. Okay, so we want to set the foundation for that and um, get get him built up where everything's going to everything's going to work in the end. All right, so I'm going to cut a piece off here. I'm going to say this is probably, oh, I don't know. Let's see here what we got. Yeah, it's like a three-inch piece, and you're probably not going to even really need all of that. So bend this over so we're making like a little hook, a little hanger, and I'm going to twist this a couple times here. And it's still, it's a little bit long, so let's get rid of that. A little bit of that. I'm just going to snip off. Okay, let's make a second one. It's like the same thing here. I'm going to get a little bigger. It doesn't matter. I'm going to trim it off in the end. Smush it down. Twist it up. Okay, and you might want to get rid of that excess down there. Let's just cut that right off. All right. So we've got two little hangers right here, one for the bottom and one for the top. Okay, let's do, let's do the top one first. I'm going to take my little awl. You can take anything you have, even, a, even another toothpick, and just try to, I'm looking where his nose is, and I just kind of want to be in line with that and be in the center. And I can see where when I slice this, I'm going to a little bit of an angle, so my hat is going to sit at a little bit of an angle. And uh, like I said, that's really cute. Okay, that fits down in there. Shoot a little bit of hot glue in that hole and pop it in. And see how, see how I put it where the opening to the loop is the side, like you were threading a needle there? Everything seems to hang better when you do that instead of putting it, you know, facing this way. So it's just a little, just a little thing I figured out. Okay, let's take the toothpick out. And using that same toothpick hole, I'm, I'm sure that's going to be just exactly what we need. Let's see if that goes up in there. And it does. We don't even need to make another hole. Hot glue up in there, laying that in the same way. You can see how my little loops are going in there. Okay, and our head is ready. Let's move on to our hat. We're going to be using just plain black cardstock for our hat. Uh, first off, I cut myself a piece, a little strip here, one and a half by four and a half. Okay, and then uh, we're going to put our circle punches to good work today. This is a one and a half inch circle punch, so let's give ourselves one of these. And this is a two and a half inch circle punch. This is the brim of our hat. Give ourselves one of these okay so these are our pieces here and I'm going to use my crocodile here simply because you can get in really deep and be able to get into these circles and I'm going to put a little punch right in the center of the one and a half inch circle okay and I'm going to do the same thing with this one you try to get as centered as I can pop a little hole in there and what I'm doing here is we're just making 
access to, we're going to be putting a hanger, okay, through this hat that's going to come out at the top. So we do need a little bit of access to get in there, you know, to put all of our little mechanical things together. All right, so once I did that, and it, nobody's going to ever see this, so don't worry about how horrible it looks, but just give yourself a little bit of room to be able to get up in there and work when the time comes, okay? So next, let's take that little one and a half by four inch, four and a half inch strip and fold it over into like a little cone here. Paper punches everywhere. All right, I'm going to grab my glue gun and, and, um, I'm going to try to be as gentle as possible here to not over glue, just to try to keep this as neat as I can. The first one I made, I did use like a white glue. Um, I thought it worked great, but I thought I would go ahead and use the hot glue today while this, while I was filming this video, just simply because everything will dry a lot faster for us while we're filming. See, I did glob out there. Never worry about globbing out, you guys. There's always glitter, right? And it will cover up everything. Okay, so let's take our little hat here and I'm gonna use my glue gun and I'm not gonna go crazy, but I'm just gonna tap it really kind of gentle around the edges here. And then let's try to get as centered as we can And just lay that there. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the top of our hat. Let me just hold this so I don't, there we go. Just being a little gentle. I noticed even with the hot glue, I mean the uh, white glue, when it dried, you can still see some glue residue on there. Now you'll see this piece here is definitely bigger. Okay, and I did that on purpose because it's almost impossible to make something that is a perfect fit. So it's easier to trim a little back than it is to try to, you know, achieve that. Okay, I've just got a little piece of gold ribbon here. And you can use anything, I think, to decorate your hat. Um, I thought a little bit of um, a, a sparkly pipe cleaner would be pretty some tree garland, just whatever you got. Okay, and this, this ribbon here will cover up some of that messy glue. Okay, a little bit right there. And get rid of the glue strings. I'll just get out my little cutter bee scissors here and carefully just go around the top of this hat and trim it back all the way around. Like I said, clean up the glue strings and our hat is ready to go. All right, we're moving into the bottom part of the project and then we're gonna put it all together. So keeping my cardstock out and keeping the circle punches going, I've got a one and a fourth inch scallop circle here I'm gonna cut out. This is going on the bottom under his head. If you don't have this, that one, that two and a half inch circle, I think would work perfectly. And getting out my little crocodile here, once again, I'm going to kind of get myself centered and pop out a hole there, okay? So that's ready. Now let's talk clocks. As you can see, I've got some cute little clocks hanging off the bottom of this ornament. This is an Etsy download and it came from Victoria Designs and I will link that shop below. What I liked about this that sh that, that shop offered was there was like four sheets you can download. There's a one and a half inch circle, a one inch circle on another sheet and a bunch of little tiny clocks which oh my god I gotta find something to do with those. <laughs> They're so cute and I had some one and a half inch wooden circles on hand so I thought okay this is this is gonna work and then we We've got the one and a half inch hole punch. So like everything is coordinated here and I'm going to pop out without having to go around this even with my scissors, just using my hole punch. I'm going to just grab two clocks. Okay. So I normally would cut four clocks out because this little ornament had 
two clocks hanging. Of course, you could put as many as you want on there. I mean, that would be really cute too. Or even a little clock on his hat. I mean, you know, the sky's the, sky's the limit with the clocks. Okay, I'm going to grab some Mod Podge. And on my little wooden circle here, we are just going to glue it up and add one of the clocks to this. And I'm going to take a moment to say that um, I want to thank you for a great year of crafting uh, with you guys. It, it's been really great. And thank you so much for all of you that have taken the time. I'm going to flip this over, another clock on the back. For all of you that have taken the time to like a video, leave a comment, um, leave your tips and strategies. I mean, I love, we all love that. You know, everybody reads that and it's so fun. And, um, and for taking the time to be a subscriber, um, it, it's, it's humbling. And thank you so much. It's, it is, it's been a really good year. And I appreciate each and every one of you so very much. Okay, so I've got a clock on the front, clock on the back. Sometimes I'm not the greatest at getting it centered, and you can see I have a little excess paper, and that's not a big deal. So I want to let this dry. Before you, before you mess with this, just kind of, you know, let it dry. Otherwise, it's going to be pulling up on you. I went around with my little, my little scissors, and anywhere I saw that I had a little bit too much excess paper, I just did a little trim. You know, it's not really a big deal because I get out my sanding block and I'm going to sand the edges down. You know, it kind of makes it like, makes it one with the wood. <laughs> you know, it just kind of looks like it belongs right on there. Go on this side here. It takes off any of that little excess paper. Plus, it just seals down the edges. See that little paper coming off of there? See that? All right. And then let's just just for the fun of it. I've got, uh, this is Vintage Photo, the color of this Distress Ink, and I'm gonna take it around the edges. So if there's any white paper showing, this is a great way to eliminate that. And of course, it makes everything more vintage -y. Okay, so there you go. I would go ahead and make as many of these as you want, and um, I'm gonna, Get this stuff out of the way and I'm going to show you what I do next so we can put some little holes in this and we'll put our chains in. All right, let's get our clocks ready. Now, um, I have a drill. I would normally just drill a little hole on the top of my clock, but if you don't have a drill, this is a little scrap of wood and I'm just going to lay my clock there and getting as close to the edge as I can. I've got a nail and I'm just going to hammer that in. Okay. And I think we have pretty good little hole there and you can take oh that's a good hole yeah you can just take your little awl if you want make sure it's nice and open and that's just a quick way to get a hole into that all right um if you don't have any wood to do this you can probably stack a bunch of cardstock together with the clock face on each side and um it that would probably work I like the wood because I felt it gave it a little bit of weight for hanging Okay, so I wanted to hang this off chain, and of course I wanted to run to the craft store and buy a chain, but then I looked at what I had and I was like, no, use what you have, okay? So I found this in, in my, ugh, I don't even know what to call this thing, but anyway, I found this here. I thought this would work just fine, and I cut off a few links, and so now I'm going to take and I'm going to put a little jump ring right inside of the hole that we just made. Now, all of you out there that are really good at making jewelry, please close your eyes right now. <laughs> and I'm just saying this because I am not a jewelry maker by any stretch of the imagination, and I'm probably going to murder this jump ring right now. But I'm going to open it up, and then I'm going to put it through. See, I don't have it opened up enough here. I'm going to put it through this hole that we just made here. Maybe, I don't, I don't know, maybe we won't, but let me just get it. Let me make sure that I've got this spread apart enough here. Okay, I think I just needed to go a little bit wider. There we go. Oh my gosh, I got it in, I can't believe it. Okay, it's in. Then I'm gonna take my little piece of chain and you know, you can alternate your chain for as long or as short as you want it. Um, depending on how many clocks you're hanging, so they're staggered on there. 
and depending what kind of chain you're using too. Okay. All right, I closed up my jump ring. I hope it I hope it stays closed. All right. But there you go. Now I've got a little watch chain and um, I'm also going to get back into my little star confetti and I'm going to add um, a little star right on my little clock faces. This little guy definitely had a lot of steps, right? So, but they were easy steps, but it was easier just to kind of make each component and now we're going to put it together. All right. So let's start out here. Oh, this, doesn't he look like the cutest little man in the moon? I think. Love him. All right, I've got a piece of Baker's twine here and I just cut myself a nice long piece. And um, I'm gonna go through that loop that we put on the head right there and just tie it off, okay? And then this is gonna run up through this hat. So you know how we put the extra, sometimes it's easier if you just give yourself a little knot here at the end. You know, we made that little extra hole um, just so we could be able to work this through. If you just did kind of just one little hole punch, it's a little bit more difficult. So I'm just going to lay that in there and I've got a tweezer here and just kind of, just kind of trying to grab it right through. There we go. Okay. I'm going to make sure my little seam is in the back and this hat is ready to glue on. Just hot glue right on the little flat part of our little little man's head and lay that hat right down. Okay, and that string is coming up nicely. At this point, I would tie it off. It just seems to hang nicer when you do that. Okay, so just kind of do a little knot right here at the top of the hat like so and then you can just tie this off here to make it a little ornament hanger all right so that is the top part of our little cute little man on the moon and remember our little scallop piece we had here let's go ahead and put a little glue right around that little bottom loop that we made out of wire and add that little scallop piece right on. It's like a little collar. Okay, it's very cute. You could also do this with a crepe paper rosette. This was one I had made earlier, which I thought was really pretty too. So, you know, you can just find all kinds of good things. I've got a little bit of tree tinsel here. I'm going to add it right around hit the bottom of his head this looks cute I use my bad scissors you guys to cut that just so you know <laughs> I'm not cutting wire with my good scissors okay look at how sweet that's looking and you know that's that's really kind of cute just like that and this has definitely inspired me for Valentine's Day which by the way get ready because it is right around the corner and I was thinking this would make a really cute Valentine decoration all right I got that I got that jump ring again okay I'm gonna put it through our little bottom wire right there and I added it to the chain by the way off screen so there, there there's a jump ring on the end of that chain and then I'm going to close that up like so. And at this point, you can add as many little clocks as you want to to our little man. Okay, finishing touches. We're already at finishing touches, finally. We finally made it. I tied, just with that baker's twine, a cute little bow, little bow tie right there. And you know, it would really be cute if you, you grab that little star confetti right there get rid of those strings and laid it right on that little bow and also I made this the hello 20 2024 and this is on my blog a freebie for you guys just go over there and right click it and take it and um, let's put it on the hat and you know you don't have to do the um, 
the 2024, you know, any dates on this if you don't want to, if you just want to keep it, um, you know, kind of generic for every year for on your tree. So you don't, you definitely don't have to add a date. I thought this was kind of cute to welcome in the new year. And then we have the little hello, which I cut these out. These are on, um, I just printed them on white cardstock. Cut them out with my cutter bees. Lay the little hello right on there. Anywhere you see that you might have had glue seeping out or anything that you don't like, that's why the good Lord gave us glitter, right? So just grab the glitter if you want and glitter things up. Add as many clocks and look at that little face and what a great little ornament to welcome in the new year. It was so fun. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'm going to be away till after the holidays doing all the holiday things with my family. So I hope you will be enjoying that as well. So I will see you in January. We're going to be crafting Valentine's Day projects and I can't wait to share. So blessings to you this Christmas. Happy New Year to you and yours. Bye for now, my friends.